May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. September 23, 2024 Memorial of St. Pius of Piet Relchina, Priest A reading from the Book of Proverbs Do not prevent him who is able from doing good. When you are able, do good yourself too. Do not say to your friend, go away, and then return. Tomorrow I will give to you, when you are able to do so, given the present. Do not undertake evil against your friend, even though he has trust in you. Do not contend against a man without cause, even though he has done no evil to you. Do not rival an unjust man, and do not imitate his ways. For everyone who ridicules is an abomination to the Lord, and his communication is for the simple. Destitution in the house of the impious is from the Lord. But the habitations of the just shall be blessed. He will ridicule those who ridicule, but he will bestow grace upon the mild. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. He who walks without blemish and works justice, he who speaks truth in his heart, who has not used deceit in his tongue, nor has done evil to his neighbor, nor taken up a reproach against his neighbor. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. In his sight the malignant is brought to nothing, but he glorifies those who fear the Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. He who has not put out his money to usury, nor taken bribes against the innocent, he who does these things shall not be moved forever. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowd, Now no one, lighting a candle, covers it with a container or sets it under a bed. Instead, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing secret that will not be made clear, nor is there anything hidden that will not be known and brought into plain sight. Therefore, take care how you listen. For whoever has, it will be given to him, and whoever does not have, even what he thinks he has will be taken away from him. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How deeply do you engage with the scriptures, and how does your understanding of God's word impact your daily life? Take care then, how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he seems to have, will be taken away. Luke 8 verse 18 Do you have much, or little? According to Jesus' words, if you have much, then you will receive much more, but if you have little, then you will lose even what you have. Does this seem fair? Of course, our Lord is not speaking in worldly terms. He is not saying that if you have much money, then you will gain more, or if you are poor, then you will become poorer. Instead, Jesus is speaking about the grace that comes from understanding his holy word. Notice that the passage above begins by saying, Take care, then, how you hear. To hear the word of God implies that you truly receive what Jesus teaches. Hearing is not just hearing the word spoken with your ears. One early church father, St. Bede, explains that truly hearing the word of God with our minds leads us to love that word 
and loving the word leads to understanding. This is not accomplished by an intellectual exercise alone, as if our natural gifts are the primary means by which we comprehend all that Jesus teaches. Rather, it comes through spiritual insight, gained by the supernatural gift of the Spirit, who teaches us all things. If you want more understanding of the mysteries of God, then commit yourself to engaging the Holy Scriptures with your mind. Read the Scriptures, ponder them, and pray with them. It's easy to forget that the Word of God is a living Word. This means that, when we prayerfully immerse ourselves in the Scriptures, we are prayerfully encountering God Himself. God is alive in His Holy Word. We meet Him, personally, and this happens only by a special grace that we must be open to receive. The beautiful aspect of this teaching of Jesus is that, the more we understand His Word by this grace, the more we will immerse ourselves in it, and it will continue to grow within us. If, however, we devote little time to engaging the Word of God in prayer, we will begin to forget, so to speak, the spiritual depths of the wisdom of God. We will lose the little understanding we have, and when this happens, we will be prone to engaging and accepting the many confusions and deceptions alive in our world. Reflect today upon your practice of prayerfully meditating upon the Scriptures. If this is not your current practice, resolve to make it so. Perhaps, start with one of the Gospels and commit yourself to prayerfully reading it little by little every day. The goal is not to get through the books of the Bible. The goal is to enter into each book. Every chapter and every line provides us with a depth of spiritual insight and understanding, just waiting to be given and received. Commit yourself to this holy practice, and you will be amazed at the spiritual riches our Lord bestows upon you. Let us pray. Living Word of God, my Lord and my King, I thank you for the way in which you come to me and all your children through your written Word. Fill me with a love for that Word, so that I will daily engage my mind in the deep truth revealed within it. May I meet you, dear Lord, and grow in an understanding of who you are and what you wish to reveal to me. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.